welcome to a web of stories my name is melinda and i am here today because i'm having <clears throat> sort of a moral predicament i'm going to start out right out by saying that i don't know what my stance on this is yet i am still working it out and um i don't know what to think which is why i'm doing this video i am actively soliciting comments from people i want to know what you think on this um i see all sides of it i uh have little wars in my mind out about it but um there you go. So this is about banned books. As you know, I am an anti-book ban warrior. Um, one of the things that I do is I send books that have ban been banned to little free library uh, stewards and angels in areas that are dealing with book bans for them to put those books out. Um, and I get a lot of those books from my library book sale. That just is the most effective, price effective way for me to get them. So I... I have an issue with a book. Let me start by going completely off topic for a second because this little weird story is going to explain a term I'm going to be using. Several years ago, there was a commercial for bread. Um, I believe it was a national commercial. So if you're in the United States, you may have seen it. I think it was like oral wheat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who it was. It was for bread. And the commercial showed, you know, people making bread and they would put breads in stone ovens because that's exactly how commercial bread is made. But anyway, um, but they would always refer to their bread being made by master bakers. And every time I would hear that, I'd be like, what'd they just say? <laughs> oh, master baker. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use the term baking bread in this. Um, and I trust you to know that I do not actually talk about bake. I'm not, I don't mean baking bread. What I mean refers back to that story. Anyway, okay, let's get on topic here. So um, I was at my uh, library sale and looking for banned books to send out. And I came across a book that is an issue for me. And it is this book, The Absolutely True uh, Diary of a Part-Time Indian by this guy. Now, honestly, I have no problem with this book. This book was uh, was considered for a very long time the most banned book in the United States. Um, and it was banned because it was sexually explicit because the main character who is, I think, 14. Anyway, he talks in one scene about baking bread. And it was really apparently too much for some people, the idea that uh, adolescent boys would bake bread. And I'm sure they believe that no adolescent boy would know how to bake bread unless they read this book. So they cannot have this book on the shelf or else adolescent boys are gonna be baking bread and we can't have that. I have read this book. I have absolutely no problem whatsoever with this, with the story in this book. It is a fabulous story. It is the kind of story that I think kids should be reading. Problem is not with the story. The problem is with the author. For those of you who don't know, this particular author is an indigenous author. He was very successful for a very long time. He, um, but in I think 2017, 2018, he was Me Too'd in a very big way. Um, it came out that he had been inappropriate with a lot of um, indigenous women. I'm gonna link articles about it. You can read it. It, it, it's, it was not just a one-off thing with him. Um, he has addressed it, but he's also kind of like called people liars. So it, it's, it's not good. I read this well before that news came out. So this is kind of like my enjoyment of that book is sort of the Harry Potter thing, which I will get, I'll go back to that. Um, but I will say I had a couple of his books that I had not yet read on my TBR bookshelf that were donated. I donated the day I heard that news. Um, and I have not picked this book up since then. So I was at the library and I'm going through the books. Um, they don't have a huge selection for young adult and, and well, children's chapter books. I have to say, I don't look at children's picture books at the sale because it's just too much. I, I, my mind, I can't handle it. So I'm just basically looking young adult in this. They had several copies of this. And I, obviously I bought a copy, um, but I really struggled with it. Um, I did read, um, and I'll do another article here that mentions that, yes, this book was banned originally way back when, um, but then in 2018, it started being banned again because of the allegations against the author. And um, the, which I find that, I mean, 
I, I'm struggling with that a little bit too. Um, I don't know who was making those accusations. I don't know if it was a case of the people who, the same sorts of people who'd been challenging it because of the baking bread for a long time, or, and then thought, ooh, here's another reason, maybe this will work better, which is stupid. Or if it was the other side saying, oh, you can't have, you can't have authors, problematic authors on there, which I, 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 I don't agree with. I don't think that is a reason to ban or challenge a book. Um, there have been a lot of authors who are on the shelves who have behaved in ways that they should not, in uh, ways that are not good. I mean, a lot of a lot a lot of school libraries have the Mists of Avalon on their shelves. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look at Marion Zimmer Bradley. But this is for me, and I personally am not okay with the behavior, but I'm okay with the book. And for myself, it's the JKR thing, which is um, I read the Harry Potter books, you know, as they came out, I saw the movies. My love and enjoyment of that series came long before JKR started uh, voicing her anti-trans, her anti-trans opinions, and won't shut up about them. Um, so I believe my enjoyment belongs to that time before that. It doesn't belong to her. It belongs to my experience reading the books. Fine. And if this were just me, I could see that. Like, if this were just me getting a book for myself or even a book for my kids, I could see that. But is this a book I want to send out to little free libraries? Is this an author I want to send out to little free libraries? It's a book I want to send. But is it an author I want to send? Back to the challenges um, against this book being based on the author. I don't think that's a good reason to, to challenge a book. As I said, lots of authors are on the shelves who have done things as bad, if not worse. However, I, I do think it's a reason, a teacher, a very valid reason why a teacher may choose to take this off, its, take this off their curriculum. I do think it's a very valid reason for when it comes time for a school librarian to order books, um, do they want to spend money on replacing their beat up copies of this with new copies? That's, I think it's a valid reason for them to maybe put that money towards a different book. Um, that by the way is not book banning. That's not, that's not book banning. That is different. That is something different, especially in a school library where school library books tend, you know, they reflect the curriculum and they reflect things. If there's no need in the curriculum for them to have this book, there's really no need for it to be in their library because it's a school library. Um, so I'm, to I'm really, I'm toying with this. Is this, is this a book I should send? I'm okay with my, I personally am okay with my kids reading this, but my kids are, my kids read Harry Potter. I'm okay with that. Um, although I will admit in the grand scheme of things, not to excuse JKR in any way whatsoever, but Sherman Alexi was worse. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to say his name. This author was worse. Um, but I'm okay with my kids reading this book. I, kids, I also know I can explain to them how to separate the author from the thing, but I don't know who's going to get this book. Um, would it be hurtful for a young indigenous reader to get this book knowing what they know about this author? Or would it be hurtful for them to read this book and enjoy it and then find out about the author? Especially, I mean, these were, these were, um, I guess crimes aren't the right word. These were abuses against their own community. I, I don't know. I honestly do not know. And so I am asking opinions. What do you guys think about this? Um, I can't, I cannot make a decision. I see every side of it and I can't make a decision on it. Um, so I guess my question is, do I just hold this book for my kids and say, hey, you know, this was a book that I enjoyed. Um, the author's not a great guy. I want you to know that the author is not a great guy and this is not to endorse him. I bought this used. He didn't get money for my purchase of this. <sighs> because I know my kids can understand that. Or do I say the, the importance of this book and the positive, because this is a great book for kids to read. Does that outweigh the author? So anyway, please give me your thoughts. I just ask that you keep them classy. As I said, you aren't arguing with me because I don't know. I really want to know what other people think about this. So I don't know when I'm going to put this post up. I'm going to put it up at some point when I don't have another post going up. So maybe this weekend. I might, I might schedule it for Saturday. Um, if this comes out on Saturday, May 6th, please know that I will not be responding to comments until later on the 7th um, because I will be gone. 
I will be off doing Girl Scout camping. But anyway, thank you for hanging with me. Um, and I do really appreciate your thoughts, appreciate your thoughts on it. And if you're struggling with it too, and you just want to talk it out, that's great as well. Anything. Um, thank you all. Um, if you please give me a like on this video and um, subscribe if you haven't. And I usually blabble more, babble, blather, whatever, more than I usually do. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.